Hello, my name is Mitsuyoshi Hirokawa. I'm a pathologist and have performed side fine needle aspiration in approximately 3,000 patients per year over the last decade. In this video, we'd like to show the aspiration and smearing techniques that have been improved over several years of our experience. This is our aspiration room where the patient undergo aspiration cytology examinations while sitting on a barber chair. We ask the patient to look up at the ceiling. By keeping this posture, the side of mass is stabilized. The probe is covered with a condom. Abundant gelatinous antibacterial agent is used as ultrasound jelly. Afterwards, explore the area by moving the ultrasound probe to detect the side nodule and press it using the probe. Next, we insert the needle. When we insert the needle, for a deeper nodule, we consider a narrow angle between the needle and the probe, whereas for a superficial nodule, we consider a wide angle. The samples are mainly obtained by cutting the tissue. Therefore, it is effective to make a piston movement as soon as possible. The negative pressure is not very important. We recommend negative pressure below 0.3 milliliters and aspiration time up to 3 seconds. After the piston movement, we release the pressure and extract the needle. Then we apply a bandage on the explored area and press it. The sampling site is very important. We must identify the needle tip within the nodule and must not protrude it outside the nodule during the piston movement. When the nodule is solid and cystic, the target should be the solid area. For the nodule with egg cell calcification, we can insert the needle through the disconnected portion. For the nodule with other satellite nodules, we perform aspiration in both the main and satellite nodules. If both are follicular neoplasm, we can suspect follicular carcinoma. When lymphoma is suspected, the target area is the center of the nodule. The samples obtained from its periphery may be confused by Hashimoto's thyroiditis. When anaplastic carcinoma is suspected, the target is a nodule periphery. This is because anaplastic carcinomas tend to be massively necrotic. Now we would like to explain the smearing methods. Generally, we press twice the samples using another glass slide. After that, we fix the samples by dripping a fixative. Here you can see preparations obtained from the press and release method. The smears resulting from the first pressing tend to be thick. This is suitable to observe the cellular arrangement. The samples smeared by the second pressing are thinner and suitable to observe the cell morphology. When we obtain bloody samples, we cheat the glass slide and slap it. Then we wipe up the components flowing from the glass slide and perform the press and release method. We maintain the adequate set of components at the originally expressed portion. At the same time, we rinse the needle with fixative for liquid-based cytology to obtain more samples. This 
procedure should be performed as soon as possible because the blood components quickly coagulate in the needle. When we aspirate fluid samples, we slowly cheat the glass slide and remove the excess material and wipe up the fluid flowing from the glass slide. Then perform the press and release method. On fixation, we wait for some seconds until the cellular components adhere to the glass slide. For fluid materials, liquid-based cytology is also recommended instead of conventional preparations. For poor quality samples, the fixation should be immediately performed without smearing to prevent the drying artifact. Biochemical measurement using needle washout fluids may be more useful than aspiration cytology. When we aspirate the lymph node, we usually measure the cytoglobulin using the needle washout fluid. When lymphoma is suspected, we employ flow cytometry using the aspirated materials. What are impressions on our aspiration and smearing techniques? We hope that our methods are helpful to improve your aspiration cytology practice. Thank you for watching this video and for your interest in our methods.